today I'll be showing you exactly how I became a really good artist. So I started out by finding pictures that had a lot of value and tracing them. I then went on and colored the entire picture so I would have a base. And then I used a cotton ball to blend. This is what it looked like after. I then went on and looked at all the shadows that I see and started coloring those in. It doesn't really matter if it's neat or not as long as it's laid in the right place. Do not use the tip of your pencil to shade, use the side. I then went on and blended out the shadows as well. I repeated the process several more times to add more dimension to my drawing. Notice where the highlights are, they're usually focused around the nose, lips, and eyes. I used the kneaded eraser to erase the lightest parts of the face. You can also use a regular eraser, but I couldn't find one, so I just used that one. If you have any questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram, I'll answer them. Also, don't forget to like and follow for more. Hey TikTok, today I'm going to show you how to draw easy water droplets. First, you're going to need a pencil and some gray paper. And it has to be gray, that way you can pull out shadows and highlights like this lady, hello. First, you're going to draw a jelly bean. Something like this. Then you're going to blend it out with some of these. Don't have these? Don't sweat it. You can also blend with some TP, your finger, or one of these makeup thingies. Blend him out inside the circle and make him into a soft boy. You're going to give him some nice little hair. Then you blend his little hair out. Now give him one last fancy hairdo like this. Make sure it's very dark and blend that out. Lastly, add in your highlights. Add a little bit of highlight on not the dark side. Add a very heavy highlight and boom, there it is. To draw a body, first I start with the head, neck, and then a square for the chest. From there, I add a little space for the stomach region, a circle, and then start carving out where the legs are going to be. I add ovals for thighs and the same for the arms. And then one more to make the calf. Do the same for the arms and add hands and legs. What is that? How to draw black people hair. First, get your hairline going. It can be as high or as low as you want it to be. The thing with black hair is that you can make any shape you want, y'all. You think I'm joking? Watch. 
and boom when you're drawing african-american hair you have more versatility and like you can do more stuff with it. it's not bias it's just the truth that's what they call our hair a work of art we're gonna start making a little bit like zigzaggy scribbles all over these little um spheres that i made on our head drawing black hair is probably the most fun you can add your shading you know what i'm saying break mine into little squares because like these are like sections of the hair like her hair got parted add shading and shit that's some more zigzaggy jaggedy shapes inside for the shading and then boom some beautiful bento knots for him on the hairline i'm gonna draw a big big circle like a big one a big bento knot then add more zigzaggy jaggedy lines following that shape drawing an afro is probably the easiest one straight it in why he look like me a little bit <laughs> erase add more zigzaggies and you're done yo she is so beautiful TikTok. Today I'm going to show you guys how to extend the life of your teeny tiny little pencils. Let's do this. So first you're going to get an old marker like so. You're going to take out the tip of the marker like this. You can rinse it out and wait for it to dry but I'm lazy. <laughs> you're going to put some tape on the end of the colored pencil to make it a little bit thicker. So basically something like this. Oh, something like this. You just pop it in like this. And boom, you got your own DIY pencil extender. Okay, y'all, this is how you draw a cactus. This is step one. Just start with some wiggly ass lines, like really wiggly to get the outline of your cactus. Really, really, really wiggly. Forgot to mention that step one is low-key the hardest part. Like, it takes fucking forever, but, you know, just keep it pushing. Okay, so now that you got your outline done and everything, you're going to draw like little faint lines in between the, in the middle of like the cactus like things. I remember these lines are supposed to be like pretty faint, like you're not supposed to see them as much as, they're supposed to, they're going to be thinner, basically. Okay, so after you're done with step two, you start drawing the spikies. The way you draw those is just like up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then once you're done with all the spikes, you're pretty much... Okay, here's how I draw lips. I'll start with the little corner smile things. And then I go up and like that if I want to make it like a parted lip. And then above that, you've got the top lip like that. You join it to the corners. And then the bottom lip like that. And then underneath, I won't do the whole bottom lip. I'll just put like a line to show where the shadow underneath the lip is because generally here it's like faded out and then I'll use pink, peach and red and kind of blend it out making it darker towards the center and lighter to the outside and then I use a darker color to darken like the corners and like just a line in between it and then I use the white pen to make highlights above the top lip here and here How to draw a realistic bubble. First, you need some black paper and a white pencil. Next, draw a circle and outline it in white. Also, the paper needs to be black, otherwise the bubble will not look clear. Next, draw these two rectangular shapes opposite each other and then fill it in with an ombre effect from white to the darkest color. These colors don't matter too much. I decided to go with blue and yellow. Next, lightly go around the edges and shade with colors yellow, orange, and red. Next, just go around the edges and add some random shapes that go along with the bubble's circular shape, just so that it like adds detail. Lastly, add in some little highlights, then add in some sparkles here and here, and then you're done. So just grab any piece of paper and a marker, draw any line, it could be any shape, 
put dots anywhere you want on the line, like that. Now just use the dots to connect the lines. And do it for every one of those. You could put as many lines as you want in it, it doesn't really matter. When you're done, you can add like any other line going out, mark it and do the same on this one. With these little white bits, you could just fill it in from other, like, yeah. So yeah, when you're done, you can color it or whatever. I don't really care. Bye!